very bad. You are just stupid, stupid. Stop talking. What a tragedy. Imagine if you were good looking. <laughs> I hope this decision will heavily impact you later on in life. Well, I don't like this. You have a sad life ahead of you. You're disgusting. Pregnant. <sighs> Let's do this. All right, it has been two years since I filmed a video like this. It's time. As you can tell by the title of this video today, we're just gonna be reading some hate comments. Now, I know people have opinions about these types of videos. However, as a viewer, I always love watching channels that share hate comments because it just adds such comedic relief. Like some of these people leaving these hate comments really think they're doing something when most of them are just hilarious to read. So I really do just find these videos fun to watch as a viewer and it's a way for me as a creator to take back the power and monetize it. If someone's gonna leave hate on my videos, I might as well monetize it, right? <laughs> Thank you to everyone that leaves sweet comments and hopefully this shows you like how dumb it is to leave hate comments, never do it. It's also just a great reminder to remember that someone that is leaving a hate comment is going through something and I truly always believe that someone who is genuinely happy has no desire to leave a hate comment. Like if you are sincerely happy in life, there's no part of you that wants to leave a hate comment. So my heart does go out to those that do leave hate because I know that they are just struggling with something and projecting. I've got the hate comments pulled up on my laptop. <sighs> Let's get started. Okay, so the oldest screenshot that I have is dated November 21st, 2020. So two years of hate comments in this folder. Why don't we start with that oldest hate comment and just go down the line. <laughs> Oh, great to start off with. You should be ashamed of yourself. No idea what video that's on. Nah, you dumb You're removing kids' brain cells. Wow, I felt like I just removed brain cells trying to read that sentence. If you've seen my other hate comment videos, you know exactly my only response to hate comments like this, and that is your. Ugh, please get to the point in all caps. I get this comment a lot on my videos. I'll get into it later as to like the technique of a creator as to why you make the title of the video usually something that isn't talked about till the end. Because there is a reason we do that and it's for engagement. <laughs> Very bad with a ton of emojis. See, this is fun, <laughs> right? Are we having fun? I enjoyed your video, but you talk too damn fast, girl. I'm a fast talker and I have to keep your attention. So a lot of YouTubers tend to talk quickly because if you talk slower, people are gonna click out of the video, you lose interest, you have to keep fast pace because that is how we indulge in content these days is quick videos. Technology is insane. Again, giving an opportunity for regular people to flourish. Sad though, you are committing to sin. Okay, you talk too much. This type of hate comment, I will never understand because it's a YouTube video. So what do you want me to do? Like not talk? Do something for your cat. Okay, this type of comment does get to me because it's about my fur babies. I do a lot for my cats and that's like the one thing that bothers me is when someone, and I know it's even worse when you share like your children on social media because everyone thinks that they are better parents than you, but oh, Thank you, Sam Somerville. Yeah, gave it a thumbs down, and I'm number 911. Thanks for the engagement. <laughs> Mr. Awan said, your first mistake was getting an OnlyFans instead of a real job and actually becoming a useful member of society. Now keep in mind, these hate comments are still dated from 2020, and back then was when I kind of first started OnlyFans, and I got a ton of hate for it. It's just something that came with sharing that journey, and I know that. The concept of a real job doesn't exist. If it can supply an income and you are making money off of it, it's a job regardless. So everything that I do for my lifestyle and to pay my mortgage and live the life I do is a job. Social media is a real job. OnlyFans is a real job. Anything that you do, as unique as it is, is a real job if it is how you are supporting yourself. So useful member of society, okay, me. <laughs> If you're using OnlyFans to sell explicit content, do yourself a favor and get a real effing job. And to be honest, no man is ever going to trust a woman with an OnlyFans page, so have fun with that. 
period. Okay, so I have dated since starting an OnlyFans account. Wow, I'm spilling the tea in this video. Since starting OnlyFans, I have dated two men and one woman. And by dated, I guess I mean like a more committed relationship. All three of them respect me so much and trust me and it has never been an issue. It's been a conversation, but it has never been an issue. <laughs> this one's good, are you ready? You are just stupid, stupid. You may want to slow down and take breaths here and there. Recognize when to slow down. You talk fast. So remember that some people start to get annoyed by that. It sounds like rambling and you lose the interest of your viewers. Just a tip in public speaking. Heart. Okay, YouTube is very different than public speaking. And like I said, you gotta stay quick and with it because you will lose interest. I have lost interest as a viewer when a YouTube video is just not animated and it's slow and they're talking like not as fast. It also adds so much time to the length of the video and you don't want that with YouTube. Amy says, WTF? Oh my gosh, way too much unnecessary babble. So much that I couldn't even watch more than two to three minutes at tops. Bad. Hashtag no babble. Hashtag excessive unnecessary babble alert. Hashtag annoying overwhelming voice with ongoing babble. Nice capital letters there. Hashtag fake news on hourly pay. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Hashtag Amy has too much time on her hands. <laughs> Honestly, I think that comment was an unnecessary babble. Oh, thank you. Someone responded to it and said, curious to know why you even commented then? There's literally thousands of comments and the only negative one is yours. How's that feel? Hashtag negative Nancy, Debbie Downer, your opinion sucks. Probably one of the shitty tippers. <laughs> thank you so much, sweet little nothings. If you still watch my content for that response, made my day. If you sell yourself, you are, by definition, a hooker. It's the lowest worth a woman can ever have. How do you expect a good man to pick you up? Wake up. If you want a good life as a wife with a good husband having kids, why should a man pick a hooker as his wife? Wait a second, why is my only purpose in life to be a man's wife and have kids? This comment is so backwards really not okay with how you treat your cats period these are the only comments that get to me because my babies are so loved marnie is cuddling on my lap right now i treat them with nothing but love and if you know me in real life and if you watch my videos you see that i just don't understand like those comments just get to me because it's like what are they seeing that isn't the truth like i treat my cats with nothing but love so get an only fans lose your life got it thanks I actually have OnlyFans to thank for pretty much everything I have in my life. I know it doesn't always work out that way, but I'm very grateful for it. Nah. <laughs> you put too many plants in, but it looks good. <laughs> but you didn't put enough O's in that too. Can you wear longer shorts? <laughs> can you wear, can you wear longer shorts? <laughs> Those two typos for some reason make me laugh. Wow. Imagine making $1,371 as an average girl with minimal work. Hate me all you want, but OnlyFans is a plague on humanity. Guess I'm average. <laughs> and you ugly as F. How much could someone make if they're hot? <laughs> I don't know, go ask a hot person. <laughs> Stop talking for the love of God. No tattoos. You wouldn't put a bumper sticker on a Bentley, honey, with a ton of whys. Okay, honey, I love my tattoos. Do whatever you want to your body. I'm gonna do what I wanna do to my body. Oh yes, the classic I did nothing comment. We hung this, we hung that. Excuse me, you're such a liar. Your dad, everything, you just put the accessories in place. I built a lot of the stuff in my room makeover video. My dad built the bed and my dad is someone that likes to work by himself. He won't let me help him. I did everything I could. My dad did everything he could. That was why he was there to help me. This unit is ugly AF, gross skin. 
Apparently, I'm a unit now. <laughs> I used to get a ton of hate comments on my skin and it did really bother me at the time because I used to not hide my breakouts in videos. I really wanted to show that it was normal to have acne and to get breakouts. I was never ashamed of my skin until my videos started to kind of receive a lot of views and a lot of people left hate comments about my skin. It was the first time I felt insecure about it. It's been about two years and luckily my skin has cleared up a ton. It's actually doing really well right now, but it is one of those insecurities where online. This comment isn't that bad. I've gotten so many worse comments about my skin. My skin has been doing really, really well. It's a mixture of things. It's my diet. I am mostly vegan at this point. I drink a gallon of water a day. I've switched over to a ton of organic products and I started using Banish skincare. I'm actually a Banish ambassador at this point and I've been using their products since last August and I have noticed such a big improvement in my skin and acne overall. They have a micro needling tool that is super, super helpful. And I use that about every month or so. This video is actually sponsored by Banish. So a huge thank you to Banish for sponsoring today's video. I love working with them. They are such an awesome company and if you watch my content, you definitely are very familiar with them. They are an all natural skincare company that makes your items fresh to order. They have this awesome pumpkin enzyme face mask. They have a mint cleanser that I use. They have a vitamin C elixir spray that I spray on my face. I love that one so much. I'm actually out because I used it so much. They have my favorite moisturizer ever, a vitamin C moisturizer that I put on before bed. They have a vitamin C oil that you put on after you micro needle your skin and all of their products help with pigmentation, acne scarring, wrinkles and dark spots and overall like healthy skin. Obviously I am human and I will deal with breakouts here and there but having products that tend towards them make all the difference and I've never had clearer skin, consistent clear skin in my life until Banish. So it really does work. I have an awesome discount code for you, Michaela 10 for 10% off all of their products. Down below, definitely check out their products. Cannot recommend them enough. Like this isn't just a sponsorship to me. This is a skincare product and company that I trust and value and what really, really works. Highly recommend checking out Banish, big fan. It makes a really big difference when you know what you are putting on your skin is good for you and just down to like really natural ingredients. Everything is vegan, cruelty free, fresh made to order, just awesome. So thank you so much Banish for sponsoring this video. I am so proud to be representing them as a Banish ambassador. Highly recommend. Don't forget to use my code Michaela 10 Click the link down below and start your journey to clear your skin because she's glowing. Anyway, continuing on. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. And you aren't that hot, period. Put your clothes back on and do something useful. <laughs> My clothes are on. Girls will do anything for cash, LMAO. And you would do it too for a check. <laughs> ah, what a tragedy. Blah, 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 blah. Female privilege, why can't we stop this OnlyFans? All it does is make females less likely to date men who are struggling. Why is this level of female empowerment acceptable? Oh my God. You should speak less. Is that better? Ah, classic. Go get a real job. Over dramatic, typical female. Thank you, Jeremy. Over dramatic is one word, and I don't think I'm dramatic in videos. Imagine if you were good looking. <laughs> Just imagine. Oh, hmm. I'm gonna think about that all day. I am so frustrated right now, woman, capital woman. Why on earth do you feel the need to put your extraneous info as your intro, making us suffer through six minutes and 30 seconds of off topic ramble? Honestly, I don't even wanna finish this comment. It's so long, I'm sick of reading it. You can pause and read it. The best part is when he says that he's not trying to be mean. Oh no, this one starts with sweetheart. Sweetheart, let me ask you this. What's going to happen if a great economic collapse happens? What are you going to do then? Let me put it this way. To anybody that has an OnlyFans account, if it, a economic collapse happens, or economic, my bad, what are you going to do if no one will have the money to keep paying for your account? Because what happened here in Texas, as you all know, we had a power outage. Not only that, but the water ended up going out as well. Anyway, where I'm getting at is 
This was just a taste of what's to come. No economy means there will be no money. So if you have an OnlyFans account, please save up. I mean, yes. But if the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that nothing is consistent or stable and you really have no idea what could happen. So if you have an opportunity to make money in a moment, make it while you can, save it, he's actually right. But the amount of men that try to tell me what to do with my money on these OnlyFans videos is astounding. Especially when they tell me it won't last long because hey, it's been two years. I've opened up my own Roth IRA account. I bought a house. I have savings. I've invested in multiple types of diverse investments. I don't need a man mansplaining to me what to do with my money. Oh good, here we go. Are we ready for this next one? I hope this decision will heavily impact you later on in life. Background checks for real jobs will be fun. It's not gonna show up on a background check. Also, this is a real job. It has impacted me later on in life in the best way possible. Obviously, yeah, be careful. I will always preface by saying OnlyFans is not for everyone. If you are going into a field that you know is very strict on social media and what you are doing, be careful. But it also has brought abundance and financial blessings to a lot of creators. So to be blunt, I'll never need what these people think is a real job because I'm building my own brand and business and I'm doing a fine job at it, thank you very much. Sad, just sad. Get to the point, four men in and just blah, blah, blah. So this is on a video where the intro is literally a two minute montage explaining the whole video. It's like the clipped montage that goes through like, here's how I did it. I was right to the point. And there goes your perfect husband who makes way more than you will from now until you hit the wall. I hate comments like these because it's just so misogynistic and backwards and I'm not doing anything for a husband. Women are more than just someone's husband. Women are more than just someone who should make less than their husband. Like these comments blow my mind that people still think so backwards like this. Cringe, get a real job. Classic. Grammar master, just for fun and an experiment in linguistics, I would love to hear you pronounce the word button and actually hit the T's. The way you say it is budden. Also, you can't end a sentence with the word at. For example, that's where it's at is incorrect. Oh my God, Steve, calm down. I talk about this a lot in my crystal videos, but I have a speech problem that I went to speech therapy for as a child, it is one of my only like really big insecurities online is my speech and how I come across pronouncing things. <sighs> I just roll my eyes at Steve. So sad. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay, Francesca went hard. She left four comments. Your cat is not cute. It's like she said copy paste the most basic personality, <gasps> but her face. Your room is cluttered. Looks like a goodwill <sighs> Wow, I feel like I just attended a roast. Please remove that nose ring. It detracts from your cuteness. How did you notice that? Did you guys notice I had this nose ring? I think it makes me cute. I love it. Also, the person that I've been seeing always comments about how cute my nose is. Wear full clothes so you may be a respectable person. Oh my God, I hope that you respect people when they're not wearing full clothes. This is full clothes. <sighs> <laughs> Lily in Brooklyn. Well, I don't like this. Fair, valid, that's okay. It's not for everyone. I don't even know what video that's on. It's hella ugly. You know how easy it is to have like a comeback to this? Like, your mom's hella ugly. <laughs> Just listening to a spacey eight-year-old, sheesh. Do I sound like a spacey eight-year-old? <laughs> be honest. How does it feel to be addicted to money, attention, and your cell phone? Hashtag devil. I think it's better to find a real job. This is my real job. And for some reason, that bothers so many people on the internet. Pathetic. <laughs> You're here. You've arrived at the epitome of ultimate and immediate brain death. OnlyFans is so useful. Make tons of money so you can pay your therapist after you realize what you did to yourself and have PTSD, LOL. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm already in therapy. Stop talking and get to it, OMG. You shouldn't water or fertilize your plants according to what an app says. You also don't drink water when someone tells you to drink. You drink when you are thirsty. What? <laughs> I didn't know when I started posting plant videos 
how negative the plant community is to other plant parents. This is just such a poor comparison. Like you don't drink water when someone tells you to drink. What the frick? What I have seen, you have pretty basic plants, which means that there are tons of information on the internet about how to take care of them, exclamation mark. In this video, I heard a lot of, yeah, this plant doesn't look too good, or I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's that you are relying on an app to tell you when to water the plants where you just look at them and if they are dried out, then, then, then you water them. I think you have a lot to learn about how to take care of plants before you decide to make a video about them, period. I am a great plant mom. I have hundreds of plants in this house and they are thriving. Some of them were struggling. I learn as I go. The app is perfect for beginners that don't know like when to water a plant because it will tell you based on the type of plant you have and the size and the pot when you should maybe water them. But oh my God, like negative Nancy over here. I hope every man in your future that you plan to build a relationship with finds this and dumps your worthless ass. I'm good. Pathetic. Your cats suck badly and so do you. <gasps> right where it hurts, Jack. No one cares, you aren't hot. How much was asking? How much did you offer? How much did you put down? What is your credit score? You need to share all these, all of these with your view. What? No, I don't. Oh my God. I think I overshare too much about my finances online, but I always say that I do it for educational purposes because as a viewer, if I am purchasing a house, I'd want to know or X, Y, and Z. If I'm starting an OnlyFans, I want to know how much someone is making. I don't need to share any of this. I could, and I probably get hate for sharing it too, it's just too personal. I would never do that. Oh, love your room and the video. Only thing that made me uncomfortable was the way you talked about carrying heavy things. Woman, you are strong, you're not weak. It's not what I can't move. It's what you can't move yourself. That's what every person goes through. Then you said you just, you picked up the nightstand all by yourself, MLMAO girl, why are you pretending like you're weak? Sure, men are physically built stronger, but you aren't just weak. You and your mom could have got the bed frame. She just made excuses. We could not have gotten the bed frame. Have you ever tried to pick up a huge bed frame box from Ikea by yourself? It's physically impossible. It doesn't matter my gender. It has nothing to do with that. Like physically, I just couldn't lift certain things versus others. I don't understand that. Oh my God. What a long, boring video. Thanks for the view. Pathetic women losers. Yep, that's me. You're disgusting. <laughs> I feel sorry for her. She has to sell herself on OnlyFans with verbal skills like that. You go girl, like a uh, like and on and on. I usually cut down likes and ums and stuff like that in videos. I don't know why everyone assumes that if I'm doing something online, I'm stupid. Like I have a college degree. I have published pieces of my writing. I have grit and determination. Get to the effing point. You speak too fast. Don't worry, the streets are hiring. I ain't paying to see those mosquito bites. <laughs> Pregnant. Oh, I remember getting this one. That was me and doesn't matter what my body looks like. Never ever comment that. And I'm not, by the way. You talk too much. Two, that's all I'm gonna say. This was annoying. Why the hell would someone pay to see a girl with little boy boobs? I don't know, man. This is perfect for lazy hoes. <gasps> oh my God. Sorry for offending you, but, oh God. This girl seems like she's faking her personality on capital C camera, just the whole act. I promise you I am so genuine and I know that my subscribers see that, especially the last videos I've posted of me having a breakdown, like that's all real, I promise you. I need to hear this video, but her voice is so fucking annoying. OMG, I can't do it and you're taking way too long to get to the point. That's mean. <laughs> Tony says, upgrade your car, LOL. Well, joke's on you because that car got totaled in December, so I did upgrade it. Thanks for manifesting that for me. I really liked my old car. Talks way too fast, sir. You type too fast, there's a typo. We? I think your dad did everything. I did so much. My dad did so much. Group effort, team. I was so grateful to have help, oh my God. She's got some rattle. Let's get you looking at the camera in the next one, yeah? Great, thanks. Oh my 
God, love the room. Gotta tell you though, not to be rude, but you talk too much. Probs won't even see this comment. And then I replied and said, that's pretty rude. I didn't even bother to point out her grammatical error too. Aw, poor girl. Men no longer throw money at you to take off your clothes, sad face. Perhaps you could try good old fashioned prostitution. Oh my Lord, poor cats. My cats live a lavish life. The fact you think YouTube is a job. Laughing emoji, crying emoji, clown emoji. People know how much YouTubers make, right? Like it's crazy. No shade, but do you have freckles or are those pimples? If they are pimples, are you going to a dermatologist? This was more on a recent video where my skin was cleared like this and I was so confused. What were they seeing? Like, I feel like my skin has been so clear in videos that I stopped getting hate comments on my skin, but literally like, let's say they weren't freckles and they were actually acne, which is very common to get, especially like if you're PMSing or whatnot, hormones change. You don't have to go to the dermatologist every time you get a pimple either. Oh my God, oh my God, moving on. Joshua says, y'all are trash, LOL. Get a job, educate yourself, level up mentally, and I promise you'll be better off. I'm doing pretty great, thanks though. You have a sad life ahead of you. The modern day prostitute. Okay, so I'm only sharing this because he is literally shirtless in his picture. Like, that is a mirror selfie. He could be nude for all we know, but I'm the prostitute. Have fun dying alone. You're a whore. I mean that in the biggest way possible. <laughs> Ouch. Nice butt cheeks. Spell it right next time and I'll take it as a compliment. Thanks. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna stop there because that is all I can handle for now. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you got a little bit of a comedic relief out of this video. I know that I did. And there's some really bad ones that I didn't even include in this video that I've only ever like showed close friends because they were so vulgar, but it gets brutal. One thing that I've noticed in this hate comment video as opposed to my older ones is that I only had two hate comments about my skin. In the older ones, I used to get a lot and that has everything to do with Banish. So thank you again, Banish, for sponsoring this video and I'll link everything down below. Don't forget to use my code. But yeah, let me know if this is something you'd like to see more of and check out the older ones if you want to see more right now. But I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you next with my new video. Bye.